Let's take a look how to make this 3D topographic text effect here in Illustrator. Get ready for it because this is going to be a little bit more advanced. First step, let's go to the fill, click on the non, click on the stroke so it's going to be on the top. And let's select the black color for it. From here, let's go and select the line tool, press and hold shift and draw a line like this. Press and hold alt, drag it down, also press shift to isolate, press control D to duplicate. So we got three copies, select all three copies and press control J. Or you can go to the object, path and select join. This is going to join the open paths together. And what I want to do here is I can select the direct selection tool, remove this anchor point. So it's going to look something like this. Now I'm going to select it, press and hold Alt, drag it down, also press Shift, make sure to intersect and press Ctrl D until you get a lot of copies. I'm going to go somewhere around 25 and 30 copies of the lines. And this is how it looks, press Ctrl J again, and this way we've got one single shape. Now I'm going to go and select the Type tool, I'm going to type in the number 2, and I'm going to go with the Noya Haas Grotesque Display Pro Bold. Let's scale this up, right click, create outlines. I'm going to swap it from fill to stroke and I'm going to select the direct selection tool and remove these lines right here. I'm going to right click on it on group, right click again, release compound path and go to the object. Let's go to the blend and select make. Now make sure that it's going to create one single copy in the middle. If it creates more, you can go and double click here on the blend tool and select specify steps and decrease it to one. From here, let's go to the object, expand, click OK. And I'm also going to join, I'm going to select the pen tool and I'm going to join these guys together like so. And I'm going to select the number two, position it on the lines and I'm going to rotate and make sure that none of the lines are going to be parallel, the number two with the horizontal lines. So for this, I'm going to need to rotate it a little bit more. So actually they're going to cross each other and I'm going to scale it all the way up and down. You also can go to the object, transform, reset bounding box and this way we can match it perfectly now let's go and select all the shapes and we're going to go to the pathfinder click on the three dots and select outline now i'm going to go and select this invisible bounding box i'm going to select it like this as you can see the whole shape is invisible because we don't have anything on the fill or on the stroke so i'm going to go and click on the stroke and select the color for it and now i'm going to go and right click on group and I'm going to select the elements from the number two and delete. This is going to be like a slower process, but take your time and clean it up. After you clean up everything, we're going to need to join the lines together again because everything is cut in pieces. So I'm going to select all, press Ctrl G again, and this way we got one single stroke line again. I'm going to go and select the direct selection tool now. And as you can see, it is going to highlight the anchor points of the number two silhouette. Now in your situation, you might not see these anchor points because the squares are too tiny. So because of that, you can go to the edit, preferences and select selection and anchor display. And here at the size, all you need to do is just increase it to 100%. Click OK. So let's do this again. Select the shape, select the direct selection tool and now press and hold shift. And we're going to select the center anchor points from the number two. So it's going to be highlighted with a wide square. Let's do this with the rest as well. And from here, all you need to do is press the down arrow a couple of times and check this out. I think I'm going to go with this version. Now, of course, you got a couple of errors that you're going to need to correct manually. And we got these also. And I'm going to go and select the pen tool and just add two more anchor points. And with the direct selection tool, you can rearrange them. I also can make a couple of versions from this. I'm going to go and select the pen tool and I'm going to connect this anchor point with the top anchor point and I'm going to swap it from stroke to fill. So it's going to look like this. Or you can go and create another copy and select the direct selection tool and I'm going to go and select this internal number two and let's go and drag from one of these circles and it's going to make the sharp edges rounded. And finally this is how they look. Thanks for watching.